Hello, I'm Irini from The Upcoming. How are you? Very well, thank you. So for our viewers, uh, would you mind explaining um, your full name and what you do for the film? I know you're Jonathan, the producer, yes, but for the viewers. Jonathan Cavendish, I'm the producer of the film and I'm also Andy Serkis's uh, partner, yeah, professionally, I should say. Um, and um, together we have made this movie. Um, and it's been a fantastic experience and is the most wonderful person to work with. Incredibly innovative, huge vision, huge flair and extraordinary energy. So sometimes if I'm feeling a little sleepy or a little, you know, tired, he has this amazing energy to, you know, make it all, make it all happen. Yeah, I can tell actually, I know what you mean. <laughs> so why this film? Obviously I know why you wanted to work with Andy, but why this film? Well, I was brought up with these stories, the Kipling stories, and Andy, obviously, we were looking for something that showed the full gamut of his skills, the vision to imagine a, a different sort of jungle, a, uh, a, a piece that was hugely, um, hugely full of performance, but also had a very powerful and emotional story, and a story that's relevant today because it's, it's about identity. Admittedly, not many people have the problem today of am I a wolf or am I a man? But most of us have the problem of where do we belong, who are we, and everything else. And so relevance on the one hand and a massive landscape in which to tell the story on the other. That's what was exciting for us. And working also with this amazing group of actors as well, you know. Couldn't ask for better than that. Well, I'm his business partner, so I'm a bit biased, but I think he's a fantastic storyteller and a fantastic director. And above all, because he is such a great actor himself, he knows how to pull the most amazing performances from his actors. But he has an overall vision, unlike so many directors. He, he This film is exactly what he set out to make, and that's very unusual. You know, there we were, sort of designing the movie, and five years later, that's the movie that's on the screen. And that's uh, very few directors can do that. It's very complicated because, first of all, the actors put in their performances, which is not just facial, it's a body performance as well. And that's captured. And then that's sort of transported digitally to the, to the set where the remarkable Rowan Chan playing Mowgli has to act against sort of models um, and people who are, if you like, playing the part that the actors have already played. So it required an enormous amount of technical know-how on Andy's part, but also an extraordinary amount of creative ability from Rohan, who's put in the most amazing performance. Well, it's very interesting because, you know, when we were casting the animals, we wanted to create actors, or rather wanted to create characters and animals that had the spirit of the actor within them, not just the performance. And Benedict's version of Shere Khan is very frightening, slightly theatrical because Shere Khan in our story is playing a role. He is trying to break down the laws of the jungle and in order to do that he's not just using his muscle but he's using his brain. And that's the fantastic thing about the performance capture process is the wiles of the human condition are implanted in animal form. And that's an extraordinary thing to watch. Netflix are phenomenal because I think they allow you to tell a story in a real and a fresh and an innovative way. They're not bound by the conventions of the past. So for us, it's absolutely wonderful that come next Friday, you know, it will be landing in millions and millions, hundreds of millions of homes all over the world. Um, you know, we had a premiere in Mumbai for this, as well as London, as well as at Los Angeles. And they just are truly global to, make, to, to match a film that is truly global. And that's exciting to us.